Marriage is a human construction, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, by the way, take a look at that tree. Yes, it's not a green screen. I'm actually here. And the roots of this tree spread out for... They're everywhere. Anyways, marriage is a human construction. You know, God didn't come to earth and say, hey, human beings, you know, you need to eat food, you need to drink water, you need to uh, go to the toilet, you need to have a shelter, wear clothing, and also you need to get married. He didn't say that. Marriage is something human beings invented, developed, and it's been so deeply ingrained into our culture that most people, or sometimes, they think to themselves, oh my God, wow, marriage is like this natural phenomenon that just just like this tree growing out of the roots or growing out of the ground. No, 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 it's a human construct. And I have been, I am at folly for this too, you know. It's been so heavily pressed down upon me growing up in a Catholic family, Christian household. Family was seen as this big thing and also marriage. You gotta get married and you gotta put a ring on a woman's finger and blah, blah, blah. I still don't even know what marriage is. Like, what is that? Marriage, okay? When I look at families, meaning a man, a woman, and a child, it's kind of weird. It's like off. Like what? That's not normal. That's not natural. Um, if I had a family, I would raise it amongst my people, you know, in a community, in a tribe. I don't like this word tribe. That, that uh, suggests too far back, but a community, okay? So if I had some big land, big open property, and lots of people of, of my, like mind would be living around me, we would be contributing to the same thing, and I would have a child, yes, I would have a child with my wife or with my woman, yet that child wouldn't be, you know, just me, her, and, and the child. It would be the entire place, and that's the most natural way to live. A child shouldn't look up to you as a mom and look up to you as a dad and think, oh, these are the only authority figures in your life, and most of the time, because you haven't evolved yourself to making children, you mess it up, okay? We've all been messed up. I've been messed up in, uh, as well. So marriage, you know, I want to get this idea of marriage out of my mind completely because it's so much shame and so much guilt and marriage feels to me like a shackle. This is not, this is not something that is worthwhile. Now, I'm sure that there are some tax advantages to being married and there's some other advantages in terms of the legal system and how the society is currently formed as it relates to the government. You can get married and you can benefit in so many ways. So fantastic. Yet marriage is still a legal contract. Now again, I made this video before, like, you know, marriage is, uh, you get married in a church and that really doesn't have that much merit. Okay, it's like, what? So what? Yes, the church is consecrated and there's special energy in that place and you get married there, you kind of bond together. Yet it's not really scientific. There's nothing much to it. It's very, very simplistic, very simple. There are more powerful ways to get married. Married being, you take two individuals and you bind them together. You know, I was watching a fascinating video yesterday about how metal was welded. They took two pieces of metal, pressed them together, and they took a very hot, like laser looking thing, just lots of fire, very concentrated fire. And they went and it instantly um, melded together. So when that intense heat and friction is created, anything can come together and they can bind together. It's exactly how marriage in quotes. There has to be a new word for marriage. There has to be something better, like unity maybe. So I know this can be done with a physical person. You know, a physical person can enter into you and you can literally become like one entity. You know, there's two of you, yet you can become one. After this can be done with thousands of people, you know, not necessarily in a romantic relationship, yet this can be done. So I want to get rid of this idea of marriage from myself altogether completely. Marriage, marriage, it's like a Christian construction. And yeah, most importantly, I want to get rid of the shame and guilt that's been associated with this process of marriage. I don't like marriage. 